Um, what up? Solar Renekton only here. Back doing some more League of Legends action. It's the end of the month. Well, there's only one month left before the season ends. Yeah. Giant Resident Sleeper lane matchup with the Q Snipe. You know it. You know it. All right. Well, we're basically just chilling in lane, waiting for jungle to kick. Voice crack. I'm 11. What up? But yeah, trying to climb. It's the end of the season. On this account I haven't played on in years. Let's uh, see what we can do. We're 0-2 off the start. Not the best. They have a Singe ganking bot lane. And somehow they died. What? Okay. So their mid lane Singe gank bot level 1. <laughs> and they all died. Alright. Makes sense. Uh, in this lane I gotta spam my Q. I really gotta try and focus on... Uh, Dealing through a lot of this damage. We're gonna use our Q. If we get hit by, uh... oh, okay. if we get hit by uh... any damage, I want to heal it up. Give time for my Doran shield to heal me up as well. Yeah, overall, it's gonna be a ridiculously patient, cautious, sitting back, healing through. Walk away, taking no damage here. It's always free for jungle though, because he's going to be perma extended. He's got no wards right now. But he does listen to the streams. Let's see. The freest thing in the world. Oh, don't go that way. How do you know? <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> Dude, press your E again, you goofball. We ain't gonna finish that now. Ooh, we almost finished it. I had nothing left. What was I gonna do? I have no way of gap closing to him. What did you want me to do? Alright. He has no ward and he flashes from my dash. Like, what the fuck is that play, dude? <laughs> Literally insane. They always know. I have 20 seconds to delay on stream too. Nuts. Why didn't he flash away from the dash that I did last time? Why is this dash more uh, deadly? Hmm. Change bro. Very strange bro. Okay. Not the most fun lane. Pretty sure I can stay. This jungle is on the other side of the map, so. Cool. Not a freeze, buddy. Have fun with that. Have fun with that. The wave hard shoves back to me. It's only three extra minions. You need four at that point in the wave. Otherwise, it hard shoves back. Takes an extra wave to bounce, that's all. A solid back timing for me. Get a ward. The dead ward orb thing where you placed yours. Did he? Ah. Oh. When did he place it? Alright, my bad. I take it all back. Never I never saw him walk down though. I guess I'm just blind. Uh he kinda overstayed here. He'd be okay if his jungle helps. Ooh, pain. This sets up a play where you could have get dove here by me. Well, me plus jungle. I don't really think I can do it by myself. It'd be close. That's all right. I should have taken another step before I auto attacked. 
My tail, too long. Got caught in the edge of the, uh, my ult makes my size bigger. Got caught in the edge of the W. I don't get stunned there, I get the Q, he dies, he gets way less damage off. I have another dash out. Although I still think I'm probably dead to this guy though. I don't know, if I go one for one and I force their jungler top, I feel like it's probably a win. Because we should be doing a lot of stuff on the other side of the map. And right now, their they're mid lane is 4 CS. He's been doing this like perma roam strat. So. And if they don't get a bunch of kills here, it's no, it's gonna be quite good for us. Wow, that was some slick movement. You like that a lot. You like that a lot. You here? Ow. Will he go for the cannon? No. He just heals too much, man. Wild. Thing like out sustained. I mean, that's kind of what they did to redact him. They like gutted his sustained tools. They're like, we don't want this champion to exist. Oh, he's gonna be able to freeze again. Oh no, he doesn't. Cool. I'm gonna reset here. Dope. Reset. Grab this. Nice. Go pink here. Dash back to lane. And look for some all-in stuff in a second. Nice. Ooh, the jungle's getting fed as fuck, but our bot lane's doing well. It lanes up a billion CS, obviously. But that's kind of, you know, that's the obvious thing that's going to happen here. Mid's going to be up by a billion of CS. How much CS and mid gets ahead by versus how much pressure this guy can put onto the map and, you know, can he get other people ahead? But it's not really working out right because he hasn't really gotten bottom ahead and... Our mid lane is just farming up a storm right now. Shove this wave, reset. Or not reset, but drop a ward. I could reset, it's not terrible. It's not gonna have crazy amounts of gold. W. We here, ward. Ooh. Late in a second. The jungle's bot side mid. I don't actually think I get it. Pulled aggro somehow. Range. Uh, this wave sl uh, slow pushes back to me. So, got a couple options here. Trying not to get hit by the laser beam. There we go. Cool with that. I don't mind if I miss some of them. I might miss one. This wave shoves back to me. Three and three, even wave. Oh, okay. The answer is no. I think I just keep being patient, wait for the wave to shove to me more. All I gotta do is wait, be patient. How the fuck do you still get caught, bro? There you go. No need to flash, just wait, be patient. All I have to do is start the fight as my jungler, or not my jungler, sorry. Yeah. As my uh, support crosses into the ward. Now, obviously it's pink, so it doesn't matter, but if that's a regular ward, oh. Bro. Huge. And we got this guy's TP. I definitely leave here though. This guy's like winning in bot side. Oh, we actually got out. Oh, I thought this guy in bot got a kill. One more? That's fine. That's fine. Going one for one in a 1v2. Again, it's 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 a thing about resources, right? If they're sending two, like you have five resources, right? You're sending two of your five to go, to go do something. If the enemy can cover that something with one person, or win it with one person, they have four people against three on the other side of the map. You know, that should generally be beneficial. If you do that a hundred times, you know, you're probably gonna get some sort of advantage off of that. 
in most of those hundred times. Sure, in a couple of them, you know, it might still not work out. You know, your team doesn't capitalize on it, whatever. You know what I mean? I feel like I should have been more aggressive and tried to go and stop his back somewhere. Nice. Only down one CS. About to get a plate here. They have two mid, including their jungle. Oh yeah. Oh, we can try, but I think he knows. Ooh, maybe not. Eh, flash for flash. It's okay, because now we set up this dive. That, I mean, you can't stay here. Oh, the jungler bot side mid. Like, how do you stay here? <laughs> you, just, you just can't. You simply can't. It's just an overestimation of the damage output the guy can do or the ability to survive there. You have too much health, man. Renekton dives are insane. You add an Udyr that's tanky. Like, come on. You're not surviving that. I just want to get as much as I can here because the guy has no teleport because he used the last time. I could stay for one more play, but I just don't want to gamble on it. Guy's coming back soonish. Yeah, I could have got it. Boom, 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 dead. Yeah. It's alright. I don't really want to be too risky here. I have a nice lead. Let's not piss it away. I have 0-2 so far in my placement games. It'd be nice to get a W on the board. Let's go. Mid's popping off here. Like, look at this disparity. This guy's done essentially nothing with that type of play. It's an interesting strat to like roam and try and make plays, but dude, when you tr that first one where it's a three against two and you die, like what the fuck? That's uh, god, this ward's lived for so long. So you know the guy's not actually ghosting. Who <laughs> didn't take that ward out? He's rotating down. I'm just gonna push, try and go for tower. This could be good. Be real good. It's unlikely that he thinks I'm here and he might walk back this way. He might loop all the way around, but... See? Ah. What universe did that hit me? Don't miss it. We always want to leave the minion up like this because we can get double dashes through it. It's the sneaky play that we got. I'm going to drop a Q here. Anytime when I'm at like 45, 50, or not 50, sorry, like anything slightly under, mainly, mainly in the 40s, you know, 45, 47, 48, whatever, I like to drop a AoE Q on a whole wave because it'll jump you from like 47 or whatever it is up to like, you know, low 60s. Nice little way to get a giant burst of fury generation. Then you also get a heal without you know wasting the fury. Because if I auto and then use the Q, then I waste the fury, right? Uh, I'm just nervous that somebody's up on top side. We saw people moving up here, so pretty informed on what's going on here. Yeah. Oh, am I supposed to walk into that? One Q and you're dead, baby. Bye. Ooh. Wait, who was the other one that was there? Oh no, it was just his the AoE damage, huh? Oh no, no, Kha'Zix was there, okay. I was like, where was the other damage? I swear I saw another person here. <laughs> there we go. We'll take it, we'll take it. Three people versus four, we take three of them, only lose one. Might even get a fourth here, as long as we here tanks. Oh yeah. Bro. Tanky. Oh my god. Noise. Good job, dude. Mid is just sitting there killing towers. <laughs> yeah, this guy rotated in bot. <laughs> Holy moly. Loving it. Might actually get that. Oh, I'm just kidding. Thought I saw a cannon for some reason. Probably not too much gonna happen to the bot side. I mean, we can try and surround this guy, but 
You really want to chase a one kill singe all over the map? I don't. Well, it's about like, you know, the value of spending your time doing something. I had a game the other day, playing with you guys in chat. And we kept having like three people chase the Singe who was running it down in top lane. It's like you're, you're spending three people's worth of resources to go chase a guy who's literally doing nothing but clearing a wave. Like just because it's in between the towers doesn't make it any different. He's simply clearing a wave, standing there and waiting for the next wave, right? He's not doing anything. The reason why proxy creates pressure on the map is it buys you time. You can go proxy and then it's going to be 45 seconds before the next wave even reaches the middle of the lane. That gives you 45 seconds to a minute to go do whatever you want without missing any CS. That's the value of the proxy. Because with that minute of free time, you can go create pressure elsewhere. So you're getting all your farm while you're doing other stuff. That's lovely. You can just walk away here. I'll turn with R in a second. Alright. Never mind. I B kept chasing, I was gonna turn with R. Whew. Remember the last game where I tried the WR and I died before I got the R off against a Victor in a similar situation? Not really similar because I was so much lower health. I had to press the R first. But that's why I W and then I R. It breaks me out of that W animation cancel. Or the W animation time. Get to cancel out of it with our R, get our R off during that same time. Because your R normally has a cast time, normally has a animation itself, but you stack them up together. So you get your R animation happening while you're doing that W. This is what you're supposed to do. Offsides! This is what you're supposed to do at towers that you can't defend. You just gotta respect it and back out. I do like the mid lane push. I think it's chunked already. I'm gonna go here. Oh. <laughs> oh, we have Rift. You can go for an end. It's a uh, hook. Done. Oh my god, I haven't CC for a minute and a half, I swear to god. Hide behind them. I feel like right here, if Singe actually rotated, this could be so good for them. It's just annoying when people play stupid strategies that are like, you know, whatever. Like, you can do that strategy and it can work, but... When you do stupid strategies and then you don't even try and, like, make correct plays when they're available. Like, right there, dude. If you just rotate behind us, oh my god, you're killing everybody. You're gonna get all these shutdowns. It's gonna be like a three, four thousand gold swing. But instead he takes a tower and bot lane. It's like, alright, I mean, I guess you got a bounty tower. That's good. It's just weird. I'd be annoyed if I was on their team. It's one thing to play unconventionally, but it's like, you still gotta have some sort of strategy that you're working towards. <laughs> Otherwise, it just feels like you trolled the whole game for no reason. Especially when you got these items, man. You're actually useful in fights. Champ scales hard once he gets 11, 16. His ultimate power spikes. It will be strong in the late game if you just AFKs and side lanes and tries to get farm. But when you do that, you're banking and your team not losing. It's kind of hard because they're really far behind. Trying to put pressure on this side of the map. Didn't get that. Go free. Nice. I just gotta make sure I don't die here. If they're coming for me, they're probably not going for Baron, so people might be in this area. So we gotta play around. Uh, like I said, probably up in this area. Coming for me. Oh, we have like the... Yeah, they're so out of position right now. I'm gonna ward here behind this just to make sure that they don't like loop around or something. Yep. <laughs> Beast Roid. Ah, uh, we probably slow up. Don't be mean. 
Kha'Zix's running for his life. Hit the hook. Hit the hook. Oh, he did it! Let's go. Get him, baby. Oh, my God. Okay. Bam! We'll take it, baby. GG. They had, like, this mid... Early game roaming strategy that just did not work out. It kind of backfired. They tried to make that gank and happen, that gank happen and bought, but they died three people against two. Our bot lane gets a kill. We ended up giving a kill back a little bit later on, but at that point, this mid laner just he's gonna get such an advantage. You're you're against nobody. You just perma shove into tower, take all the plates, and then do stuff. You know, and if your opponent that's roaming like crazy isn't getting enough value to compensate for. All the EXP missed in mid lane. Like the the thing with these roam strats is you, you probably want to get the EXP in mid and then go do the roam. You need to be a, somewhat efficient with it. Because if you just perma roam, you're putting all your eggs in that basket. You're going to be super behind in levels, gold, EXP, everything, you know? And you're just going to provide not much value in the mid to late game. So unless you're, you know, <laughs> unless you're making huge plays in bot lane and every time you go down there, you get a kill, you know, or two. You know, it's not a big enough lead to win the game. Like, you got to get your farm and then go do that. That's the power of the proxy in top lane. You proxy, you get a minute of free time. You run, invade the jungle. You run, you you know, you gank behind mid lane, whatever. So third game in, we are one in two right now. Not bad, not bad. What did we end up? 56 health. Yeah, yeah, I'll take that. That's a juicy one. If I can get into, like, plat and the rest of these, I'd be very happy because I don't want to play the plat promo. Anyways, you do well play. Thanks for watching. Make sure to tune in next time and follow the journey. Peace.